Hello, my name is Anna Buckner. I'm an associate professor in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm a member of the AGA Clinical Practice AFJ Committee. I had the privilege to work with my distinguished co-authors, Dr. David Whitcomb from the University of Pittsburgh and Dr. Chris Forsmack from the University of Florida, preparing this AGA clinical practice update on the epidemiology, evaluation, and management of exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Exocrine pancreatic insufficiency remains frequently underdiagnosed, so as a result, patients are not appropriately treated. There is an urgent need to increase awareness and treatment of this condition. In this AGA clinical practice update, we discuss the approach to exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, when to suspect, how to diagnose, and how to adequately manage. Our best practice advice statements have outlined this approach and should be use, used in conjunction with evolving literature as a part of shared decision-making process. The key is to understand the definition of exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, EPI, is a disorder caused by the failure of the pancreas to deliver a minimum threshold level of specific pancreatic digestive enzymes to the intestine, leading to the maldigestion of micro and micronutrients resulting in their variable deficiencies. Clinically, EPI is characterized by variable deficiency in micro and micronutrients, especially essential fat and fat-soluble vitamins, by gastrointestinal symptoms, of nutrient maldigestion, and by improvement with lifestyle changes, disease treatment, optimized diet, dietary supplements, and administration of adequate pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy. It is essential to diagnose this condition early and initiate the treatment as soon as the diagnosis is made to reduce long-term consequences of untreated EPI. The adequate implementation of Pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy improves the quality of life by controlling symptoms and ultimately reduce patients' mortality and morbidity. We hope this clinical practice update will raise awareness of this condition and the importance of its adequate treatment, as well as stimulate future research aiming to develop better diagnostic tests, improve access for patients to pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, and develop newer and more potent agents. To learn more, please read this AGA clinical practice update on the epidemiology, evaluation, and management of exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which can be found in this November issue of Gastroenterology. Thank you.